This is episode 13, One Night with Steiny. So excited because we have Land of the Plug. <gasps> he said my name right. I was like waiting so for I you to- I always say I was, it right. You do, but like a lot of people say it wrong. What do so. they say, Lana? Lena, Lana, I get Lana, yeah, so thank you. Yeah, we're big fans over here, so we get it right. Uh, also, I have Gabe is actually back. He's been on a little hiatus. Uh, I don't know for how long, but I'll be here today. We started beefing. I'm here literally for her, so not for you. So don't yeah. get excited. Okay. So one again, once again, you'll be off after this. <laughs> well, maybe, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, Gabe, we did a shoot. We did an elk video, what, mm -hmm. three days ago? Yeah. yeah. Where we did a car wash. You guys will see it. And um, I don't want to give everything away, but we did have you, seven other girls, hot girls. You washing my ass. I like, was washing your ass yeah, a little bit. I got it, distracted. It ended up in the Reddit. Adam was like, what is that this? That was on the Reddit? <laughs> it was on the no jumper. Really? He was like, what is this? You're dirty. I was like, I told you I had Stiney wash my ass with yeah, some soap. Yeah, was cleaning you up. <laughs> he was cleaning me. Was Adam pissed about that? No, he wasn't actually pissed. He was just making fun of me. Okay, good. Uh, <laughs> Don't worry. You guys it, are still on good terms. Yeah, while we're on that topic, is what's how's the house life? Like, what's going on at home? Things are good. Okay, so I, I shot a scene with another man for the first time in the seven years that I've been shooting. I've always shot with my husband and like eight days ago, something like that, I was like, I'm gonna go do my scene. I came home and I feel like it was a little rough because it was new territory. Like we didn't really know our boundaries yet. Um, I kind of picture like you coming home, all the lights off. And then you know how in like the movies where they, they turn on the lamp and he's sitting in the corner? <laughs> yeah, he's like, so, how was your day? Funny. Yeah. No, it, it didn't go like that, but like he comes into the room and I'm just dead on the bed. I'm like, at like 6 p.m. Oh, like, yeah. Oh. I'll be that too after that one. Yeah. He was like, you're tired. I was like, yeah. Like, I didn't want to say too much, you know? Who, okay. So take us to the beginning and how did that come about? Because you said it's been seven years where it's only been Adam's been with you and another female. Yes. There's never been another guy in the mix. So I would say we've had like a couple hundred threesomes. But we finally have admitted this. We have had a threesome with another guy. It was just like very, very early in our – it wasn't even a relationship. I was like – he was a fuck boy and I was the girl he was fucking. And mm. like we had a threesome one night and then we never talked about it again. It was like taboo to talk about. Mm -hmm. We just pretended it didn't happen. But like Adam and I have always been just down to have some fun sexual experiences. But then as he fell like more in love with me and I fell in love with him, he was just like, I can't do that with you and another guy. I can't see with another guy. It just like it wasn't going to work for us. And then I don't know. I guess I, I don't remember why we really started talking about it. It was right before the wedding that we started talking about it, which I think to people is the kicker. Like, why wait until you guys get married to do this? Um, did he bring it up or did you bring it up? I feel like I probably brought it up maybe as a joke because I was probably scared to bring it up like seriously. <laughs> and I was kind of trying to see where he was was at with it. Um, but I think when he was being honest with himself, it was like mm -hmm. I – don't want you to do this mostly because I'm afraid of what people are going to say because of the world he's in. Yeah. Like I'm completely in the adult industry, but he is like in the hip hop podcast space. And in that space, absolutely not acceptable. It's just constantly called white boy shit. Right. Like, like that's it. You say we've, we've been for seven years doing for seven years of just fucking him. Yes. How I you guys make that entertaining? Like, like oh, you do different kind of scenes. Yeah. Like, okay. So that's the change. Yeah. I mean, it's even... going to be like boring at some point. No. But even, like, we had a lot of off-camera threesomes early in our relationship with girls. We just, like, I like girls. I had a girlfriend before I dated Adam. Like, I've always been down to be with girls. And it was honestly really hot watching my partner enjoy somebody else. Like, if a girl was I'll giving him so a really jealous. good blowjob, I was like, hell yeah, he loves it. I can't deep throw like that, but she can. That's cool. Like, I, I would get jealous in the beginning, don't get me wrong, because I wasn't sure where we stood as a couple. Like, I really wasn't sure if we were going to, like, he was really as into me as I thought he was, you know? But then as I saw it happening more and more, I just became so desensitized to the point where sometimes I'm like, you just go fuck her. I'm just tired today. Like, you fuck. know? I'll be I, so, like, yeah. not okay. I'll be so jealous. Yeah, like, you're you, like, you get him a better blow than me. relationship like that? Like, find a girl who likes find. girls. How did fucking um, Adam pull that off for but seven Adam, years? But Adam... He pulled he pulls it off because he knows what to do in the threesome. It's like he's not giving the other girl more attention than me. He's not like doing things with her that are different than things he does with me. He's yeah. not like it's not like he's eating her pussy, he doesn't eat my pussy, you know? It's like he knows what he's doing. Yeah. And and then after he comes, he's out. He's finding a blunt and he's out. He does not care so who leaves. the girl is, wh wh when she's leaving, if she's coming back. It's like I know that he's totally disconnected from the situation. And that's why I was always okay with it because I knew it wasn't a big deal. But what about the chicks? Are the chicks ever nervous? Like, 
or are they ever trying to like take him away from you? No, I don't think we ever had a threesome with a girl that I felt like weird about or threatened by. Like if there was a girl who was like in his DMs, we're not having a threesome with that girl. It was almost always girls who like have an OnlyFans or, you know, just like they're, they're just set down. it up? Um, like sometimes I, it was me. Always, I was you. Sometimes it was him. Okay. But I was always more open to the ones that I was setting up. If of he course. was like, we should sleep with this girl. I was like, no, like I'd make up a reason why I didn't want to work with her or something. So he's, he's only like a sex and that's it. Not like exactly. staying over and I watching a movie together, cuddling. Jeez, no, it's not what like that. How do you think this is, bro? Well, I would love that. So, you want to cuddle with the other girl too? Yeah, Gabe, not other wanna... girl. Like <laughs> have like a threesome with a guy. Like I would love to be cutting the whole night. Cause like <laughs> okay, if you want to go over for a movie night, we'll talk about that another time. Um, I'll cuddle you. I want to talk. I want to no. I take talk about I plug talk. Boyfriend, maybe so with plug talk, we obviously just talk about what happens from the business side. That's it's a subscription, right? Okay, so it's it's like it's on an OnlyFans. It's an OnlyFans subscription, but we basically merged our two jobs like Adam's a podcaster I was always doing content with other girls and him and so we basically were like let's do a podcast and at the end we have sex with the guest so do you guys crush on that yeah it does really well it's like a new concept it's interesting to people because we're together but we always bring someone in I think for the fans who don't always get an interview of their favorite porn star it's like they're excited it's a about huge it. Build up. Yeah. It's like if you want to watch like the shitty like acting for the one minute that might not be good acting, but it's like an hour build up. Yeah, can I you actually have to watch. The, can you skip the podcast? part? You can, and I actually have no idea how many people wow. skip be- because I guess they don't really have to watch it. We end up like clipping a lot of it, and it goes on social media, and that's where like probably the podcast part gets the most views. But they like it. I don't know. Like it's been it's cool increasing idea. and increasing, and and just doing really well. Because I I always wonder like is. Is this one concept just gonna get boring? But so far, it's been good. Our audience likes it. It's a, a really the, fun idea, dude. It is. I mean, well, a lot of the chicks that I have on, like, they'll ask me after, like, to go out and do something like that, but we just don't film it's it. It's not happening tonight. It's, that's no, that's no, not no, that podcast. Not it's a wrong podcast no, have, here. Is that what you do? Is this a, like, a I don't do that. They just ask me sometimes. And I'm it's like, a different kind of podcast today. You're not having a sex you know after I mean? here. Would you ever be <laughs> a dick in a girl's OnlyFans video if she was, if she was just, like, trying not to show you? You can't even see if, his dick, so it's impossible. Shut up, bro. If I didn't get, like, exposed, like, no one knew it was me. Yeah, like, no like tattoo showing or anything. Yeah. Yeah, probably. You would? Well, yeah, if no one knows it's me. Just start a not? POV, like, just fucking make a count. But like. then it doesn't do well unless I feel like oh they know God. it's me. There's a lot of creators who are, like, no-face creators, and I'm not saying it's, like, the easiest way to become successful, but there's a market out there for it. I but believe that they're gonna, that would be big because you always, like, you as, like, watching it you always want like oh he one time he gonna show his face you always yeah. there waiting for what can you see more but i think I a lot am- of people don't end up revealing their face and they're still you know they want to be on the low i think it's kind of cool because it's like if i go out sometimes i have to take a picture with a fan who i know jerked off to me and yeah. although i know How's that, that, that people are doing i do feel awkward like i was going to ups the other day and i just just doing my thing you know <laughs> and it's like hey can i take a picture and i'm like sure but if they didn't know what i looked like then you know i wouldn't have to deal with that not that i hate it it's just sometimes i'm like oh fuck this person actually watches my videos because i remember one time i subscribed to only fans to one to one guy this guy's and a sick fuck by the way wait i really like, you subscribe to a guy's only fans yes Many. i'm gay by the way oh i didn't know okay oh okay thanks <laughs> what, what am I, I said a nah, he likes to be like he's like an alpha gay guy. yeah so You're a top. I, okay. I subscribe to, I'm not really, a, I wouldn't call myself a top, but Okay, yeah. I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's that's, that's, that's like a different topic. Much time on this topic but okay, anyways, I subscribe to this guy on OnlyFans, and like, okay. you know those guys that like don't show the full dick on OnlyFans? Oh, fuck, yeah. Shows just like under the underwear, stuff like that. Okay, and like I the was, outline? Yes, the outline, show him jerk off, shows just like. The, Is that a the, fetish? I don't know. I don't have the fetish. Like I was always there because I want to wait until he shows. Because like this guy gonna get comfortable one day, and he ended yeah. up showing it, but never happened. So I don't subscribe. See, that's the, like, there are a lot of girls on Instagram who have never done anything, never really gotten fully nude. But yeah, I feel like they got a lot of subs because it's like she might just show a nipple today. Yeah, she might. <laughs> you know, you're waiting for that one nip slip. Yeah. Okay. Before we talk about Gabe's insane addiction to OnlyFans, guys. Let's, uh, <laughs> well, I want to go back him. to the guy. And I met this guy before. Oh, I, I want to go back to the guy. You guys guy. have mad beef, I could tell. It's, yeah. It There's is. tension in the room. There's, yeah, not sexual, but like. No, beef. yeah, yeah. Like, you guys want to fight Definitely each other. Definitely sexual. Um, okay, how is this guy? Because, like, I'm not going to lie. If I'm Adam and I'm going to give you that pass, uh-huh. I'm probably picking, like, someone who I know is probably not going to satisfy or, you know what I mean? Like, I'm probably going to pick a guy who's, like, maybe <sighs> been with two chicks because I know it's not going to be good. You know, I wouldn't go straight to the. Okay, the but expert, massive black dude. Personally, I'd be like, "Yo, like I'd probably be looking for more like a guy like me." I'd be like, "Yeah, I'm not worried with him doing it." You know what I mean? Steiny, I bet you could throw down. I can. Um, 
okay, so picking Jason was like a business decision. Obviously, like he's attractive, he's a good performer, he has a great physique and everything. But like we were like, who would make sense for my first scene to be with? Because we wanted it to be big. And obviously everyone's like latching onto the fact that he's black, like and my fan, my audience has never seen me with a black guy, so that made it an even bigger deal. But yeah, it was it was re really a business decision. It was really a business decision, and um, you know, all the girls in the industry talk, and so I'd never heard anything bad about him. All the girls always said he was like a sweetheart, like he looks like this big scary dude. But yeah. like, I, I wasn't intimidated by him. Were there any other candidates, or was it just like there was like one works? other person I was considering? But ultimately, I, I decided to message Jason. I'm gonna like, say Adam's an absolute that's legend. Good. He's been handling it like a champ. I've been seeing he's his into posts. It. He's lifting. He's like getting bigger. <laughs> Did he, when you get back after, you said you were like laying there dead. Was there like an awkward conversation? Because uh, you had to have been like both laying in bed and he had to have been like, okay, so how was it? Yeah, I was trying not to talk about it at all. I was like, so what do you want for dinner? You know, <laughs> and then he kept asking me more and more questions. And I think we got to a point where I was just maybe a little too honest about it. Oh. And I think that's that uh, kind of made him feel a little uh, uncomfortable or jealous. And that's what I meant when I said we have to like learn each other's boundaries. Yeah, you know what would have been funny? Is if he pulled up to the house like in a wheelchair. <laughs> 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 That's what people have been saying. Like, I can't believe you can walk after this. I will say that having sex was painful for like three or four days afterwards. Whoa. But Adam and I were having a lot of sex. Like, I feel like the fact that I fucked somebody else made us hornier and mm -hmm. we had like more sex in a few days than we would normally have in a month. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it was it was it was a, a recovery period for sure. Got it. So where does it go from here? I saw that he's talking now. You're gonna take it level two, which is a scene with like an actual film scene with you yeah. and two guys? Me and Adam and another guy. And Adam's just on board with it now? Now he's just like, fuck it. I now he's one. like, well, we already like, he said that if he knew it was going to be this big of a deal, that he probably would have let me do it a long time ago. I didn't think it was going to be this big of a deal. Um, but he's kind of like, well, who am I to deny her of like this? Because obviously it's been really successful for my OnlyFans, my business or whatever. And for our business, like a lot of people have been coming to Plug yeah. Talk and stuff. So I think the next thing, which no one's ever seen me do on camera either, is him and another guy will, will be like, and I am personally very excited. I feel does like Does he so also hot. fuck with guys? Like, does he like guys too or no? No, absolutely not. I'm like, will you DP me with a guy? And he's okay, like Gabe. scared of the no, 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 it's like How much it's like, would it cost Gabe to do a fucking three-way with you and Adam? It's not, it's not I don't think that. that he wants to fuck me. I think no. he likes dudes. He yes, would fuck Adam, but like, <laughs> but that's, what not down. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. But like, he will fuck the girls, and the guy will fuck you in terms of like they will have fun with you only. They would never, they would never like do something with them and just leave you on the side, and then like like girls do all the time. He's trying to ask yeah. you, I think, if if Adam and the guy would. No, 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 no. Adam would if he was here. He'd say something like crazy that was like fuck no, yeah. basically. Yeah, absolutely. Are not. any are any? He said on his show that like rap, or he was afraid that rappers or people were gonna say shit to him. That has anybody like chirped him or said anything? I feel like everyone's talking. I haven't really kept up with like who, but when I go on TikTok, I feel like all I'm seeing is how this woman ruined her marriage in 15 seconds and this guy's a cuck and whatever, which I didn't realize like being a cuck, which Adam is not technically a cuck, is like the worst thing in the world. I yeah, that's a, that's a huge insult. But that's, I, I understand that. I don't think it's that big of a deal. I mean, some people are into like humiliation or like watching other people have sex or whatever and I guess to me and other girls in the industry we know this because we answer messages on our OnlyFans it's like hey can you give me a small penis humiliation video like that is what makes them come what is yeah. that like telling the, how the dick is small and shit like that like, how their dick is, is you like with a fucking nothing. ball gag yeah. in your mouth I think right <laughs> No, it's like, what I'm is like, a we're about to have a pig roast outside. I don't know. They want me to humiliate the size of their penis and be like, I would Stein never. Stein will love that. Yeah, well, that's pretty hard to do. So you will love now, that right now. You can't act that well. <laughs> That'll be actually like that. accurate. If you I've actually it. never heard of that. And I also, we did a pod with a couple girls last week, and I, I didn't know this was a thing, stuck porn. Oh, yeah, yeah. Where a girl guy gets stuck in like a washing machine and a guy goes up and bangs her. Yeah. Wait, oh my god, I'm stuck. I did this with Adam, yeah. What is the, like, <laughs> how, how the fuck does that happen? I can't always tell you why things are appealing, but they're appealing. I mean, I just, like, you know, stuff my head in the laundry, bend over. It's like just doing doggy, but in the laundry machine. <laughs> this is so interesting. And just pretending you can't get out. Um, all right. So you actually got stuck, imagine? Yeah, no, that's not happening. <laughs> did, uh, was there any talk when Adam came back about, like, how hung Jason is? Or is it pretty obvious? He's probably seen it, right? 
I don't know if he's seen it. I think he said I've never seen it. I don't know if he ended up going to look it up. I mean, there are some people who like want to know every single detail and there's some people like me who I'm like I don't want to know don't tell me like one day I was sick and I couldn't work on plug talk and I was like you need to go to the shoot you need to go fuck this girl without me and that was the only time that's ever happened and fuck, uh, what's his response I was like okay fine he didn't act too excited about it but I think that's probably a play yeah. like you know but guys. um I said, I don't want to know what it was like, and I don't want to see the footage. That's what I said. So I already knew clearly like what my boundaries were, but we didn't really establish that with Jason. So that's why I, why I feel like I was a little too forthcoming with information. Gabe brought three treats because he wants to see. He's like addicted to like eating like obviously like desserts. So okay. we're gonna like we want to just use these as a measuring. Oh my god! Style for uh, Jason. <laughs> Show our option one, and then you just tell us the theory. We get we go up size up. He's like a um, a cocoa chocolate. I feel like you need to put like two or three of those together, like in, okay, a, in a bunch. Two. In a oh. bunch. How about <laughs> a walnut? I feel That's like it's. I feel like it's thicker than that. Than the why. pelican? I love watching Holy you eat that. Fuck. Okay, last option. Gabe's favorite. A baguette. It's not as long, but I feel like the thickness of it is getting there. there. Yeah. In half, you think that's about where it's at? Just about. Holy shit. Holy. Maybe a, maybe a little less width and a little you less length, but like, no, I'm dude. good. Thank you. But maybe. I feel like it's like two happy dads on top of each other. We're amazing operation. I love that. Dude, when you left there, did any part of you feel like guilty or anything? Or you're just like, yeah. Oh my it. God. It was like leaving there. <laughs> yes. But like being there in the beginning, I'm like sitting in a hotel room and I'm waiting for a man to come have sex with me. It's like, it's fucking weird. I don't know. Like. A month ago, I was out dancing. Did you give someone... Adam the location or no? He has my location turned on. We have both. You think he was outside in the car, like shades no! on? No, he was playing poker all day online, and so that was the best place for him to be because he like cannot think about anything else besides poker, which is good because his mind like wasn't wandering. But yeah, Jason shows up, and I'm just like, we're we're supposed to take photos. The photographer's taking pictures of it, of us, and I'm like, you know what? I was like, I was like, I can't do this right now. You need to go over there. Like, I just need to take solos right now. I felt weird just touching his body for the pictures. Damn. So, so did you guys have a conversation intense. like you and Jason before? He um, probably doesn't care, right? He's like, fuck it. This is a this is it was work. Um, and I mean my messages to him are kind of funny because it's like, hey, are you retired or could we shoot? And he's like, Yes, we can shoot. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go get married and go on my honeymoon, but when I'm back, uh, <laughs> let's let's shoot, Holy you know? Fuck. And it's like I'm letting him know, like, hey, I'm still married, I'm still in a relationship, I wanna do this business thing with you. And he was down. Um, it is just work, but he was definitely surprised to have seen me message him because everyone knows that I just like don't shoot with other people. Got it. So what does this do for plug talk moving forward? Like you think now like you guys are going to start doing three hours with guys. Uh-huh. Probably. Do you think that what if there's a negative impact and now people are like, yo, I don't like this as much. I don't think that's going to happen. People in porn are like, or fans, it's like if they, it's almost like you don't want to do the crazy shit because if you do like double anal, all your fans are ever going to ask you for is double that. anal. And then, like, that's what happens for the girls who start shooting anal. I, I hear that a lot of the studios end up only booking them for that. Like, because the more – they want more and more extreme things usually. Yeah. And then at the household, like, none of, none of this goes on at the house, right? No, 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 no. You guys always, like, go to a location after? Or do yeah. Do a studio? We have, like, separate studios. Every Everything is separate from, from our house, yeah. Interesting. How is, how is that, like – how is to keep your – because at the same time, we have your private life with him. He's your husband right now. Uh -huh. We have your kid. We have everything else. How can you separate that both lives? How is that complicated? Or I mean, I, I think that it's hard for people to understand that, like, work sex and regular sex are so, so different. So, like, doing plug talk with Adam and another girl, it's, like, very fun. But it doesn't always mean that I'm, like, completely satisfied. Like, I, wa I want to come home and I still want to fuck Adam. Like, I want to do what I know he likes and isn't just gonna, what's gonna look best on camera. Cause that's this, this shitty thing about like filming porn sometimes is that you're always trying to open up to the camera. You're trying to do whatever's the most like visually pleasing shot and position, mm -hmm. but it's not always the one that like feels the best, you know? For camera, or, how long is the sex scene and how long is like on the real life, you would say? Mm -hmm. like, as in camera, seen, Cause in camera you gotta like go way more, right? Yeah. It's, I feel like it's like 15 to 25 minutes, but you know, it's like in porn, all the girls are coming really loud. And like, I try to do that too. when I'm like feeling closer and closer on set. But when I'm by myself in my room with my vibrator, like I'm so fucking quiet. Like I don't make a sound. I don't like there's, this is for the fans, obviously not for me. How, how can you tell if it's fake or if it's like a real <laughs> orgasm? Definitely. I know what it's like for the real ones, but like for the people you know, out there. Um, 
I rem- I think I remember hearing that like usually women get like a flush in their chest, like a redness when they come. But I don't know if you can quote me on that. I'm not sure, honestly. Okay. How Just you can? Curious. There's not like one little way that deal. you can tell. But I think that there are girls who sometimes come on set, and then girls who never come on set. You know, because sometimes it's like a director's, and you're, you're like, now come now, and you're like, well, I'm not fucking ready, but mm-hmm. you want me to do it right now. Would you be upset if I had a conversation with Adam before you guys decided to do the two on one? You want to be? I want to just like maybe t- I don't want to talk him out of it because you want it, right? You want to do it with you? No, no, not with me. But with the- <laughs> I'm like, wait, are you asking? I'm, I'm not ready for right that. Now? I'm not ready okay. for that. I didn't think he's you'd want to show your is. face. But I'm, I'm just not sure. Like knowing Adam, like he's ready to go down that path. Like I want to make sure. Oh, you want to like be his little counselor? You yeah, make sure like, he's bro. Okay. Like once you go there, you you don't go back. I know Adam, and I feel like he's going to see it, and he's going to feel weird about enjoying it, because it's like, I'm his wife, and whatever. But, like, he's going to think it's fucking hot, and he's going to want to do it again. Fuck. All right, well, Adam, we're hoping that... I think it will go that way, actually. We'll see. Yeah. You never know. It could go two ways. I I hope he's not watching this like, no, that's not what I want. He won't, but I just keep (laughs) seeing him being like, yeah, like, I'm worried about all these guys, but, like, for him to take that like a champ and, like, with all the people... Because he had on Sneeko right after, Uh and Sneeko's, like, the total opposite of that spectrum. Do you know who that is? Yes, I know. But like for Sneeko, I feel bad because everyone calls him a cuck, but like he did something sexual with his ex and then he ended up regretting it. Is the Sneeko? Right? Like he like took his girl to some sex party and she fucked some guy in front of him and then he realized that he didn't like it. How many, how many of those underground sex parties actually happen? And have you been to one? I heard that there's a thing of those in LA. There is a few of them that go on in LA. I've never actually been to one in LA. I did go to a fetish party after like around the time of the porn awards in Vegas years ago. And there was like a live sex performance in the middle of the party. It was like a guy getting pegged and like everyone was watching. And Wait, there, a dude on dude? Uh, I think a woman was wearing a strap on and pegging a guy. Oh my God. Well, what if there, that should be in like a back room. That was in the main room? That was room? the main room, yeah. Well, the that's, fetish should be a private, that's a private scene. Like there might be people that don't want to see that. <laughs> but in the adult Why not industry, start with the guy, girl? Stein is like, uncomfortable talking about stuff that he doesn't like. I would not want to be <laughs> in the you main room. You don't like it, but people like but it. But don't go to a fetish party if that's going to No, oh, listen. Is that the fetish? It was a fetish party. Yes. Mean, it was a party full of all kinds of fetishes. There was people being whipped in the corner and like zapped I can and whatever. Do that. And that's why like for the adult industry point of view, they're seeing this storyline play out in the media and they're like, who fucking cares? This yeah. is our daily lives every day. The shit they're doing is te- technically vanilla. Yeah. She's just fucking another guy. It's not like I'm getting electrocuted. You know, yeah. it's like this is level one of kinkiness. Does, does it bug you at all that a lot of this shit goes on? Like, there's two categories, right? For whatever reason, OnlyFans and then porn. Mm-hmm. But a lot of porn happens on OnlyFans, and there's these, these OnlyFans girls doing the same shit that you do. But for whatever reason, they're not viewed at like porn stars. Does that make sense? Um, I guess I I would if you're not doing porn, then I guess you shouldn't be re- like viewed as doing porn. I think the only part time I get annoyed is when I see a girl who's clearly not doing porn on her OnlyFans, but posting an OnlyFans link and not getting in trouble for it. But then a girl who does porn gets in trouble for the same thing because ah. I'm like, it's not like Instagram is subscribing and knows what level of content this girl is doing. Yeah. So I think that that is where I get annoyed. But it's like if I was a girl who never took my clothes off and I knew I could make a quarter of a million dollars just showing my hands like this hell yeah you i would do that you know it's like but once you take it to a certain level that's what your fans want to see from you yeah so power to them if they don't have to do everything that we're doing you know yeah that was something i always just was curious about uh with the fetishes what's the weirdest fetish out there oh the weirdest one i'm not sure i haven't been something that's thrown you off or adam and been like whoa what the fuck i think there's a fetish that i just learned about where Guys want to be made like to feel like they're very small and you're like a giant and they want you to like pretend that you're like eating that or tiny little body and you're like this big giant. I forget what it's called, the actual fetish term. But yeah, I am barely scratching the sur- surface of like what goes on in the fetish world because I just have – I'm vanilla. Like I just do More, regular yeah. – like I do blowjobs. I do – Vaginal sex. Just I do anal. Intercourse, some intercourse. Just you know, just like missionary. regular missionaries, just regular girl. shit. What about you, Gabe? You have a weird fetish, or should we just skip this? I just skip that part. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's better. I would skip it because you're a fucking asshole. You don't like talk. Whenever I talk to him about my stuff, like example, if I go over to his house, yo, like last night I had a guy over. Stop, stop, stop! I don't want to hear that. That makes you I was like, no, but I, he if does. I'm eating breakfast and Gabe's like, yo, dude, this guy, like, whatever, like. 
I blew this. Yeah, that like, happened two days I'm ago, and you get. Enjoy, but if a guy told you I'm how he fucked my a girl, sausage. yes, he want to hear the whole story. If a guy told you about a guy and girl, like, while I would dap breakfast? him up and be like, "Yeah, that's right." My while boy. you're eating breakfast, it's, yes, it's different though because it's like, not different because you're disgusted. I'm not disgusted. I'm just. It's a little like I'm not used to it's it. It's jarring. Okay, I'm not used to it. Yeah, you're my friend for fucking four so years. So you need already. to let him tell you more and more and more until you can get used to hearing. Yeah, he gets excited sometimes. Like maybe next time I have my AirPods in and I'm at the gym, come up to me and tell me all about. Whatever the I'm gonna fuck give happened. you my because number. You can tell me. I'll tell I'll you because what happened is like two last week. Like I met somebody and I was asking him like, "Hey, what should I do?" I really like this person. I don't want to be over texting him. I don't want to be like doing extra stuff because that's why I always loot somebody. Uh huh. Because you're too into it. Yeah. I'm, like yeah. literally, I Show fell in hands. love I after that. that fucking pa- first time I, I meet up with somebody. That's insane. So I was asking him for his advice. Why don't you ask her? For and this advice? guy couldn't give me advice. Ask Ask Lena. Well, I, I, I have I feel I understand you because I feel like I'm like that. Like I'm very like wear my heart on my sleeve. If I like someone, I just I feel like I'm too obvious with it. And then I feel like, yeah, it pushes them away. I'm the pushy one. I'm the pushy one. I'm like, hey, I'm always like, hey, do you want to meet up today? Do you want to meet up today? Like, I got to learn like, no, so aggr- like he's just I'm so he aggressive. Just knows what he wants. He's like, I like this person. I don't know. It's, it sucks because I feel like you have to play the game and you have to pretend you're not that interested. Because I mean, yeah, when you're no thirsty, when so you seem hard. thirsty, it is like it's unattractive, you know, yeah, and I've, I've been there. So I, I get it. They I told, told me that the number one rule. Like, if you don't know this, the bet, the best way to do it is really blow them up in the beginning okay and then ghost them don't talk to them and then they're gonna hit you that's true and then there you go but like i hate that that game i hate the game like oh like let me text right now how many hours pass i cannot text anymore he gonna text i know i hate it too i'm glad i'm not dating discipline bro (laughs) like i text yesterday and then haven't heard since i was like fuck i'm not gonna text at all until he texts me back but like is that game they gotta play because I think it's too new? Like I don't have time for that. Nah, you're, he's learning discipline. We've cut off. You, you're slowing down on Hagen Dazs, and now you slow down on that. Yeah, like I'm not for anybody that's watching. Right now, it's been two months Wait. that I haven't fucking eat. I, no, I eat ice cream. <laughs> like I haven't two months that I, I'm on my diet. He didn't drink Coke for t- how long? Two months. Two months. No, you no, ba- no McDonald's. No, no Coke. No nothing. I support. Those are all Coca Cola. Yeah. So we're all impressed there. Yeah. You should take that to maybe the the dating. I life. need to. And ba- I just want to say, though. like, I don't care what he does, but like, it's you not like, care. yo, I really like this guy. You're jealous. It's like straight into like the sexual. I shit. push the shit in. And yeah. You don't it's, hear there's there's no it. like one hour podcast like, before I hear the. Other no, shit. I it's think like, guys are like different. I think when we when we met when we talk is like it's all about sex. It's like yesterday for yesterday for example, I met somebody yesterday, and then we were like, oh, we're supposed to go on a date first. Like, no, we don't have time for that. You guys like, just fuck right away? Yes. Jesus Christ. Damn. Bro. He's always like that. Like, I always do. Well, maybe that's part of the problem. I, I think so. Why don't I think but it is kind of nice to, like, fuck and get to know, like, if it would possibly ever work. Because it's like it's like this. You were just I was, talking about okay. having a movie night at your place. I always, I always <laughs> think like this. Before. Imagine, Steiny, imagine. Watch a movie before. Yeah, but I won't be watching for the last two minutes and I'll be fucking fucking already. But, like, imagine like this. You have a guy and a girl, right? When a guy goes out on a, on a girl on a date... The guy is always like, oh, like the guy want to fuck her on the first date, and the yeah. girl is the one. I was like, no, not on the first date. Yeah. Then it's imagine just a two. Holdout. Yes, imagine two guys together. <laughs> yeah. It's like of course you can't control yourself. It's hard. Yeah. But I get it. I get, have... I get it. I get it. I get it. I need to slow down a little. I think. I think I'll yeah. take just that. Do what I just do my method, bro. Do the ghosting method. It'll work. Trust me. Yeah, you just go because you just zap out of your fucking phone. That's a different yeah, story. That's true. Um, <laughs> what's what? So people obviously see your family. They know that everything you do. What's something that you think people don't know about you guys? Or that's per- like per- the perception is different probably, right? Yeah. I mean, I, I think that people don't realize like I look like this 1% of the time and 99% of the time I'm like full mom family mode, you know? And so we have like this really crazy sexual life, but then the rest of our life is just totally normal very actually boring when you really look at it um we don't really go out we don't fucking drink like but people are like they're so crazy just because they they do this you Mm -hmm. know what i mean like adam and i haven't gotten drunk in forever i feel like you're a fucking cool ass mom yes i try to be i i really i always wanted to be a mom and now i'm a mom and actually the hard part is like balancing my two motivations because i really want to be the best mom like i'm I'm constantly reading like parenting books at night but then it's like i also need to like work a lot because i'm like motivated by my business and i know that like this business particularly doesn't last forever and i want to get as much of it as, as i can um right now so you know balancing those two things and then it's like the obvious thing that's hard is that I also want to have more children. But then if I have a kid, I clearly like 
I can't work. So, mm -hmm. you know. Our How you shit. like, if, if you haven't happened, but like, do you deal with a lot of hate? Because like the people like, oh, you have a kid, you're a mom now, and you're still doing your business. Oh, for sure. Yeah. And I mean, I try to keep that? everything separate. So like I have my regular Instagram that is clearly like, this is an 18 plus space where I'm wearing lingerie. And then I have like another Instagram where I'm just like, a mom and got it because i saw know. i saw a photo of, e, of of adam and your kid and like so beautiful i saw that like you guys on the yeah, beach i think so cute it was so adorable fuck i don't know <laughs> adam didn't I don't know think, until like, i don't think he can right before we had kids you don't think he can, I think he can no. what's wrong well, with i can have shit? a baby mama but i just don't know about like a whole family and all that right now but he's well, trying to say thing. like you can't get someone how, pregnant how no no he can that i know that but like yeah but no he can he cannot have a kid adam will be 40 this year and how old's your kid She's two and a half. You have two, don't you? No, I have one kid. Oh, one daughter? One daughter, yeah. I always said that I wanted like 10 kids, and now I'm like, maybe I'll be happy with one. I definitely want more than one, but like, yeah, it's all about figuring out the timing with your career and like having to get big and pregnant. And How did you decide it was the right time with everything that you were doing? Um, I feel like we got pregnant at the perfect time because it was February 2020. So it was COVID. So like, oh, perfect. That was right? Amazing. Like, I had no FOMO because I couldn't work anyways, you know? Yeah. So it was, it was, but we didn't obviously didn't decide it that way. We, we did get pregnant on purpose. Like we were trying, but we were kind of like, we're out one night on Halloween and we were just taking like his nephew's trick or treating. And we're like, we're not even going to a party. Like we're already over all that. Why don't we just, you know, have a kid now? Okay. Besides like, obviously, I don't know if you've heard this, but it's kind of like buzzing around LA. Like I have a BBC. Yeah. But if you, what? Had, how is that even possible? It, it just does, identifies that way. It just Isn't identifies it a big way, WC? No yeah, we could do that, but he's, he's, identi like that. he's identify as a BBC. Yeah, because oh. he can identify as a lot of things right now. So oh, I, okay, I okay. So you identify as someone with a BBC. Okay. If you had to give me a role play, like what would be the perfect scene for me? Hmm. Oh my god. But like, do I have to? I have to think about the fact that I'm gonna call it a BBC. No, no. I was just throwing that in there. You just want to know what? Don't role? even include that. Forget that. That's even a thing. That's just what every girl in LA says. Okay. Um, <laughs> gosh, because we did the car wash together, I'm like, what if you were like the car wash guy helping me with my car? And then we just like, I'm like, hey, like, I don't really have money for a tip, but do you want to hop in real quick? Fuck you. Yeah. I like that. That's and good. And then we fucking hold the your back pants seat. right now, Steiny. No, I'm good. <laughs> okay, making sure. What about what about? For we, fucking we cannot even see it. So the worst guy about it. ever over here. Or with like, him? Yeah, with fucking aggressive oh. predator. What? <laughs> so yeah, he, 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 he called me. He called me PP. I mean, you don't like <laughs> women, so I don't really. I, I can't don't. really like my mind can't really go there. But you know, I'm just thinking now. I don't feel like the car wash guy gets any love in porn. Like someone should make a car wash porn. Yeah, I agree. Well, I'm not. I don't know if I'm ready. Sign is available for booking. Can just call <laughs> me. Kind of, I feel like I am DM the perfect me. guy to like I'll be get them. in the car and yeah. like maybe slap to the towel one time and then yeah. You know what I mean? Just make sure it's yeah, a small yeah. car, not a big or one. Or whoever it's tiny. like just hits me in the ass to tell. You're like, I'm going on my break. I'll be right back. I could see Gabe. What if like Gabe was like a UPS driver and you're like delivering like no. a Gabe like covers for us. He's just like in front of the car, like, nothing to see here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah <laughs> He's yeah, an yeah, extra. Like but you know, I think that. you could be like a UPS driver and like there's like some like 18 year old kid who's got a Fortnite controller and then you walk in and you're like, He's such a <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Or Literally a, walking today, and this guy was like, "What happened today, Tiny?" I was like, "There's this fucking guy who's probably like 19, like he's like wearing okay. Crocs, like looks like, like has one of those like cross earrings, and he starts walking the opposite direction, and he's like got his chest out because he wants to show that happy dad thing, and Shut he's, up. he's oh, praying, he's it. praying that this kid recognizes him, and I'm like, bro, Tiny just screaming at me, Gabe, it's this way, man, <laughs> stop showing off. I was like, bro, you're not helping here. <laughs> Do you have any relationship advice for me? I kind of just got into a relationship. Are you really in a relationship? Yeah. Like, I think. Are you? Yeah. Sh yes. You know. Okay. Is it public? Have you guys uh, soft no. launched? I don't, I don't like to do that. Why? Because you have other hoes on the side? No. And that's funny <laughs> you say that because that's probably what she's assuming too. But I that's just. That's what every girl assumes. Why won't he boast me on the gram? When we. That's when right. Okay, my advice to you. Well, can I explain to you why okay, before okay. she texts me after okay, she, okay, okay. she goes fucking nuts? <laughs> I'm it's sorry. Because, he especially didn't... with like Nelk, once okay. you put them out there, then. Every too many people are DMing them, like just blowing up their spot, and it changes. It changes the entire dynamic, right then. That's true. I mean, this hasn't changed the dynamic between me and my assistant, but I have an assistant, and I've tagged her here and there, and she's like, "Oh, someone made like a fake page of me, and now they're contacting my family." So there are definitely downsides to being public with somebody who has an audience, especially you guys, an audience that will probably try to like fuck with everyone. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. But like, it it is hard because when you're a girl, you want to be posted, especially like. You're a guy who is how around. Tell, sorry, to cut you off. How do I tell if that's for the clout or because she wants to like let other chicks know that 
I'm with her. That's kind of like the problem I'm having. It's, it's not for the clout, I don't think. And it's not for her to let other chicks know that you have a girlfriend. It's for her to know that you, like, A, like her enough to post her and that you're serious enough with her to post her. And also that, yeah, you're not in secret with your relationship because then it means that you might still have, like, some girls that you don't want to, like, fully get rid of or whatever. Yeah. If you're the kind of guy who keeps, you know, side girls. I think he'll take the last option. No, but the fuck. Once you take it to social media, like, I have friends. I mean, your relationship's brand new, right? It's been, like, a month. But okay, it's I, like, but I it's, personally feel like it's still early. Like, if you don't feel like you want to do that for the reasons that you're saying, then. But go both ways, too, right? She should be posting him, too, then. Uh, I mean, it's whatever you guys decide on. It's because, the same thing, then. But I see a lot of girls who, like, I know have dudes, and they, they don't post them. And I there must what be some conversation. What do you think about that? Because I've, I, I'm not, I, I'm going to say his name, Andrew Tate. Okay. Shared a uh, tweet the other day. And it showed a guy who posted a picture with his girl. Mm-hmm. And he posted her, and it was like, I love you so much, baby. Like, you're my girl. And then she posts the same photo, but he's photoshopped out of it. And <laughs> it's, like, just a bikini pic for the gram. So where do you draw, like, how is that not a thing where it's, like, these girls hide their guys? How does that no, not I, I think it. I think the r- same rules should apply unless it's, like, a business thing. Like, a lot of the girls that I know in the industry who have boyfriends don't post them because it's bad for their business. So how do you decide what's more but important? But I, I feel like, well, it's it's different if you're like a it's, a, it's a business thing. But like if it's just a girl who doesn't have an OnlyFans, doesn't do porn, and she wants you to post her, she's got to post you too. Like I feel like, what are you hiding? Mm-hmm. So that's, that's what she's thinking that's about true. you. Like what are you hiding? <sighs> Fuck. What are you hiding? Nothing, hiding? baby, nothing. But is this a conversation? Is this like a lot of pressure in your relationship for this thing, the post? But you know, it's like a, it's like a milestone. Girls get excited. Like oh, our f- first post together is so cute. Like yeah. girl, girls just get excited about shit like that. Just give her, just take her in the next trip. That you I be have. Good. Been, I know you've I'm been having doing that. I'm moving. You definitely. Really, you definitely I like gotta to move take... really quick. You do. Yeah. He yeah. does because he think, he thinks she should be everywhere. We were. Everywhere we go, she gotta be there for some reason. Is it because you want her around, or is it because you don't want to hear about it later? Because I want that com- like a companion around. Okay. Like believe it or not, like I actually have a really big heart too. And I, d- uh, I do believe it. Yeah, and I like just really every girl I'm with. I really care about them, people in general. But uh, I get this misconception because the guy I play on the internet. Uh-huh. And it's like I actually am a really good guy, and like the girls that are watching know that, and I hope that the ones that are watching now understand that. So I mean, I feel like as long as she knows that about you, and you guys have trust, then like she doesn't need to be on every oh trip. But it's God. nice to have her on. This some guy trips. is just bullshitting this whole time. <laughs> no, what the fuck you talking about? Can you tell when I'm full of shit just, or not? He Are you just full of shit right no, now. No, that was he genuine. is. That was he just give a, genuine. He just give the girls at Amex go shop at Rodeo Drive, and I'll see oh, you, are you later. Buying your girls gifts shit, like that? I don't give. He her just does that. I have Apple Pay and I use my phone. I don't just give. Do you? It to how me. many gifts have you bought her one month into this relationship? Mm, and how many trips? Two. What did you buy her? Uh, Chrome Hearts hoodie. Okay. And I don't even like, know how much those are. Like eight hundred, and then a little bag. How much was the bag? A thousand. Oh, okay. That's but but one month? Come on. Was that too th- too much? And how many trips? It depends. I don't. I don't know. Yeah. I mean. I guess I should be like rooting for the girl and be like, yeah, get the bag. But She's like, a nice girl. She's a nice girl. No, though. you should I, not be I rooting you for her to get the bag. But I'm saying that's what the girls would want from me. But I, I feel like you don't need to do that, especially so early in the relationship. And especially if you do okay. sometimes wonder if things are for clout. Once again, I have to fucking defend myself. But um, my mom told me that there's five love languages. Yes, I know about and, them. Yes, one one is them? gift giving. One is gift giving. But the gift could be like, hey, babe, I know you love green juice, so I stopped at the store on the way home and got you your favorite Fuck. green juice. <laughs> it doesn't, like, that's what I always tell Adam that I want. He's like, I bought you this thing this one time. And I'm like, I don't care if you bought me $1,000 shoes. I want to know that you know my favorite fucking bagel flavor. Yeah, I said the bar I'll way I'll be that kind, of gir- that kind of guy. Date I'll be him. That, I'll, be, I'll be that kind of guy. I mean, he, he takes care of me. He's a good guy. But like, Yeah, I always take care of him. But like, I feel like, Chicken espresso at Starbucks. Unless a girl's like super impressed by expensive things, I feel like it doesn't need to be expensive. It's just like the the, the very thought. thoughtful, like you're listening oh God, to me that. when I talk to you. I need That's that. what women want to know. He listened. Can I be honest with you? Yeah. This may make me look like a scumbag. I'd rather just take Buy the expensive shit. route than put in the thoughtful. Is that yeah, fucked? Yeah, and that's fucked. Yeah. You're just lazy. The thought was a lot of effort But it depends, because if she's the kind of girl who's like totally happy to have the Chanel bag and know that you don't know okay, shit about sh- her. Let's be clear, it was not Chanel. I know, but Mont I'm just Claire. saying like. It was Louis. Okay. I guess because from someone like me, right? Like I could go buy my own Birkin bag. If Adam buys me one, yes, I'll be like so happy that he did that. But it. it that's seven years in a relationship. Have, has he bought you a Birkin? No, I don't have a Birkin. <laughs> What's the nicest gift he's given you? You guys have been together for seven years. 
Um, I mean, he's bought me like designer bags and stuff. But like, he's besides the... Jason Love for one night. Besides Jason Love, one of the gifts I got didn't really cost anything. But yeah, um, I don't know. We split everything. We're both really like we're kind of cheap. We don't really care about like expensive stuff that much. Obviously, I have like Chanel and nice bags and whatever. But yeah, there's like nothing I could buy Adam that would impress him. Like we have no this... Adam's a solid guy like that. He's just we're just he's a, he just normal like. Nothing too crazy. Where's a t-shirt? And you know, I'll buy him a Gucci shirt. He'll wear it, but it's like, it's not a big deal. Yeah. No, that's I good. I love that. But I'm really like the tall guy. I wish like a guy could like, oh, this is for you. Like, I never, I like getting flowers and I never got flowers. I would give him flowers. I like getting like, flowers too. You've people. never gotten flowers? No, because I never had somebody. Like, I never, really, I never had a relationship. If I ever see you again, I'm bringing you flowers. Oh, Bro, that kind of like actually hurt me to hear that. Yeah, you never I might buy you some. You like, should listen to him more often. He's thanks. been trying to tell you. I was like yeah, a friend, I've been telling though. him. Like a, a, a friend Friendly card. flower. Is that, can you do that? Yeah, of course. And just keep it like whatever. Yeah, like, he's, he's going to post it on the story. Thank you, Steiny, for the flowers. <laughs> I know, you got to leave a note. Yeah, I, know, I have to like then, explain like, hey, by the way, this is Have for, you bought your girl flowers? Uh, the, oh, he loves one, that. No, he loves flowers. I do. Because like, okay. there's a, the service where you can have the box. Is sent. it the Venus flower? Yes. Yeah. That's I, the. I he always one of does top that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, I have <laughs> those too. How good are those though? They're really good. I need a fucking, fucking sponsorship expensive. from them, please. How did you meet your girl? Uh, we, we met like a year ago. And where? Tell her, Tiny. In Miami. Where? Uh, the I mean, we, we we hosted a no. We hosted. I don't a, know. He's, he's very. We hosted a pregame for okay. a milk video, and we have this kid that goes and like gets girls, and like she was one of the girls that was there. Okay. And we met that night, and then we were just friends for like a year. She wasn't a virgin video. Yeah. Is it Dave, embarrassing to you up, that oh, she sorry. was like a somewhat knelt groupie? No, she wasn't a groupie. She just came across okay. the street. Because Adam likes to joke with me because I was like a no jumper fan. And I DM'd him and when he replied, he was like, I was so excited. Wait, is that so, actually how that yeah, happened? Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> so like sometimes I'm embarrassed, but Were you a fan about his dick before? What? Well, like, what are you a fan about before? His I was a the podcast. Okay. He had like Gabe's, really Gabe's not that good with the pop culture. Like, I'm not, oh, I'm not I'm either. Not, I'm not. The 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 no jumper episodes I listened to were like the DJ episodes. Like he oh, did yeah. Dylan so Francis. Be, That's before, what I was into. So before you, he was not a porn star, bro. Her husband's no. podcast is the most I understand OG that. biggest podcast. I know. I started right, but I'm just like I basically met him and I was like, hey, I'm thinking about doing this thing called private Snapchat. Someone told me I can make like six k a week, but I'm scared to be naked online. Do you think I should do it? And he was like, fuck yeah. And then I was like, well, we're dating now, and I need a dick to suck on camera. So then he, became, oh my god, like, that's. But we were like the first night that we went out together, we fucked, and we were taking like naked selfies in bed and sending it to people we knew. <laughs> like, so, but he, we were always much, down. You pretty much brought him into the world. In the porn world, yeah. I, gu I guess, yeah. Just by like him being the being, prop dick that yeah, I needed, yeah. yeah. So, scene's not out yet. Where okay. can we find it? When's it coming out? Can't, it comes out in a- Are hosting a premiere? <sighs> I'm actually fucking two girls on Plug Talk that day. <laughs> He's and like, then I'm and then I'm giving Adam anal at so night. Like, I'm giving Adam anal as a okay, gift. Okay, hang on. What? Say, let's let's talk about that. You giving him an anal? Wait, like, he's getting like the pegged. Is no, 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 no. Like I I like anal, but I'm always have to mentally prepare myself oh, again he's, for anal. Oh, so we don't again. do okay. it that often. And then every I time I do it. anal, I get a fucking injury. So I'm always like off of it for a while. But I love uh, it. It feels really good. So like my gift to him the day the scene comes out is my butthole. <laughs> Adam's so got I'll, that I'll, in the calendar. That's an amazing question. <laughs> I'll be um, really busy on the day the scene drops, so I won't be hosting a party, but you guys should watch it, and you guys should be really nice to me because I was really fucking nervous, and I don't know if it shows on video. <laughs> where where can you watch it? Uh, LenaThePlug.com or my OnlyFans. It's the same thing, same link. And but are yeah. we allowed to like mess with Adam a little bit? Is he going to be playful or no? Yeah, I think he's in, in it for the jokes right now. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay, Gabe, we're, we know you're going to be tuning in. Yeah, I got it. But and, I, I, I won't be going to see you, just let you know. Just feed Jason. You should just yeah. subscribe to his OnlyFans. Oh, no. I don't Watch like, him. I, I don't. He, yeah, he has yeah. a certain type. Yeah. That, oh, okay. Yeah, he's not into the BBCs. You're our, not a size our, queen? No. Our community is for a certain the demographic. You know what I mean? Like, okay. us BBCs. Respect oldest. them. They like, he looks beautiful, by the way, because I saw videos, I saw photos. He's crazy. But, <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's a big guy. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's going to wrap it up. Lena, you're the fucking best, honestly. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. This has been fun. I'm going to get your number so that we can uh, have movie yeah, nights and cuddle. This is yes. your new... <laughs> you can use her for conversations and, what, therapy for the first... Until you get annoyed, and then you have to be real and be like, yo, shut the fuck up, Gabe. I'll listen to you. It's okay. okay. It's time to call you for, for sex fun, but yeah. No, I won't. Okay. <laughs> Sub subscribe to Plug Talk. Lena the Plug on Instagram, and then what was the date? Wait, for no. Subscribe to Plug Talk. Subscribe to Lena the Plug OnlyFans. Um, free Lena the Plug on Instagram, and the scene comes out July thirteenth. I don't know when this is coming out, but 
we're maybe hosting a premiere. All right, let's go. Oh, Thank you. I would love to see that. All right.